this video we are going to look at how to extract uh, floor plates and facade elements from uh, our parametric tower. So we modeled it in the previous video as a twisting uh, form using a rectangular base and we can control the amount of rotation, we can control the uh, undulation uh, or the rotation control with the curve, we can also control the sizes for the floor slabs and we can control the height of this shape. Now that we have this working, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the surfaces. So we're going to first deconstruct the, uh, the volume that we have. So deconstruct a boundary representation to extract the facade surfaces. And I'm going to use the lunchbox tool, uh, triangular panels A, to get simple triangles on this surface. So if I connect each face to the surface, and feed in some UNV values, uh, we can actually control how many uh, triangles we want on each surface. Uh, let's go back, I think I want this to be uh, a square plan, and I want, let's say, 20 in the vertical direction, uh, in the U direction, and I want 5 in the horizontal direction. And we can actually make this as 6, uh, and one thing to note is that the, these triangular panels actually they do not correspond with the floor plates that I have because the floor plates um, they weren't actually floor plates when I modeled them they were uh, just rectangle profiles that were used to model this lofted surface uh, but one way to extract the plates uh, at the uh, basically at each level is to go through the edge of the surface uh, because the tower is twisting, the total height and the length of this curve is different and that's why the, um, the, the floor plate curves or the profiles do not coincide with the facade. And we, in order to make them correspond, uh, I'm going to actually extract uh, one of these edges. So first, uh, let's hide uh, the model and I want to find um, one of the edge curves. We can actually use this one. I can also use um, this one, uh, which kind of corresponds with my view. And I'm going to divide it up uh, into points. And I want this division to correspond with the vertical division of my triangles. And now that you can see the, uh, the basic evaluations kind of correspond with the triangle, uh, triangular facade elements that I have. And if I put in an XY plane at each of this point, then I can uh, calculate the floor plate by intersecting it with the geometry that I have. If you go to the intersect tab under mathematical intersection, boundary representation and plane, I can use my planes and use the lofted surface to extract the floor plates that correspond with the triangles. And I'm going to do the boundary surfaces. And now that we have made it, I can actually, um, this controls basically the amount of division we want to have vertically, or the amount of uh, floors, let's say. And they would always correspond, make the triangular structure with the, uh, uh, with the, with the plants, or the, with the floor plates correspond. And these are the panels, and these are the floor plates. And we can also um, control the amount of rotation and twisting. And I can also control the amount of uh, rotation here and also give it a bit more height if we want to. And once we, let's say, get a shape that we like, I can uh, bake the plates uh, to a different layer and I can bake the triangles to another layer. And I'm actually going to give this one a transparent material so that we can see. And let's give it a bit more transparency. 
uh, now we have um, basically facade elements that correspond with uh, floor plates. Um, I hope you like this video. I'm going to show similar examples in next videos where we can also model uh, the structural elements along with more complex uh, facade uh, surfaces and panels as well. So uh, please subscribe if you haven't already to my channel and uh, if you like to um, see videos on certain topics you can leave a comment below and thanks for watching.